So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Alex! Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> oh. What's the protocol for reuniting with your long-lost sister after eight years? I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. <sighs> She's all grown up. I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. 
I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> hey Gabe. Riley, meet my sister Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying. More like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh, yeah? What would you do? I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it! Wow. You two are already wonder-twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. This gnome has been places. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Gnome Bell Peace Prize. Oh God, please stop. No problem. The tiny house movement is really taking off. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine.
if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. You can make anything pretty, if you shove a bouquet inside. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? About three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Well, here we are. Well, here we are. Wow. Good to know. Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the scepter, but I think she'll need the bangle of vanishing to get to it. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. 
Oh, man. I shouldn't have told you that. I have no room to judge. Gabe and I used to get into all sorts of places we didn't belong. Thanks, Alex. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Oh, uh... Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Considering I've been here for, like, a minute, I'd say I'm undecided. Fair enough. I guess undecided is better than running away screaming. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you... Don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. Damn. I know 
I saw it before. Want to help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Ninth Warden, hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars, and friend to lonely children everywhere. This place has just the right amount of dorkiness. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Okay, a seriously obscure indie pattern. Color me impressed. Wait, is that the hold list? Don't freak out. Just gonna... Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. Shit. <laughs> Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> I love that this town has their own radio station. Huh. Colorado digs its alt-rock, I see. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? Looks like Ryan might need some help finding that toy. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Isn't that an oxymoron? Isn't all great music? Well, deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Please have the toy. The suspense is killing me. Surprisingly not covered in stickers. 
Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Mm, nothing. A good place for toy safekeeping. Shelves are meant for holding things, right? What about the top shelf? What if it's the original Broadway cast recording of Cats? <laughs> At least that'd be ironic. No toy to be seen. You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to while writing scathing film reviews. Yeah, and sipping a $50 Americano. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Alas, no toy. Prime cat toy real estate. Maybe in the junk box. Ah, and we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Should have known. Wait, seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? <laughs> he acted cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed, sprained an ankle. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the booth if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? You have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh. No bird calls, though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Are you okay? I'm great, thanks. Just... Did she say organizing a LARP? <laughs> yep. Beyond DJing, Steph's also 
queen of the Haven nerds. Sounds like there's some unrest in the kingdom. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? You know, talking about bird calls and bird call related media. This guy really loves his birds. Guilty. You know we're trying to keep her in Haven, right? Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Atta boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Really? We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. You did the right thing. What do you say we get you settled in? So, this is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. 
bloody hell. Will you listen to this horse shit? His bossy means. You own the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit. You know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. <laughs> Oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight-up Wicker Man shit. Oh, you've been before. Shit, man. <laughs> 